my gosh, that is so epic. We have got a few things to show you today. And um, first one being the main event, which is uh, a new awning for it. So it is my 50th, unfortunately. Yep, I am 5-0 uh, this coming June. And uh, yeah, not looking forward to that. But um, my mum and dad very kindly got us this, uh, this awning for the for the, the camper, which I am so, so thankful for, because it's gonna, it's gonna open it out and give us a heck of a lot more space. We did a bit of a, um, a bit of a camp, a three day camp over on Anglesey, and it proved a little bit stressful in such tight, compact spaces. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we definitely needed an awning. So that's what we've got. We've got this fantastic camper crosser awning and it's the 2023 edition. It's a brand new one. So let's get it up and uh, yeah, let's have a look at it. Oh my word. That's looking like a ground sheet. So in it, you get everything that you need to set it up, I believe. So, uh, nice instruction pad. And then you also get a pump, because it is an ur awning, which is what I wanted. I didn't want to deal with the poles and things like that, so. Oh <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Don't let go. Right, start walking towards me slowly if you can. Tom, let's go in. Let's go in. Let's go in. Right, so we are all up, as you can see. We're just going to step inside for the first time. Go on, Charlie, I'll let you do it. And then we'll take you around it properly in a sec, but this is the inner to it. Oh, this is great, isn't it? That's the thingy. Let's just shut that down. Not like that. Oh. Yeah, yeah, for, to stop that. Mm. But this is it. Oh, mate. I am chuffed. Are you? Mm -hmm. Eh? Out of the wind, out of the cold. Oh, your mum's going to love this. <laughs> it's warm as well. So let's have a look inside it. So as I say, this is the 20, 23 model. Oh my word, look at that space. Oh, it's a whole different ball game. It's like we're actually living in a, a bungalow <laughs> with a dormer. <laughs> oh my word, I'm stepping in. Take me over shoe off. Gotta get it off. Charlie's getting it. <laughs> he loved that. Look at this. So that's the beam, the cross beam. And it's really sturdy. So we've pegged it out. We're just missing one peg. Looks like we're short on a peg. Uh, just for that tie point there, the guy line, which I'm a little bit uh, gutted about, but it's a peg, we can we can sort that. What do you think? It's huge, isn't it? I'll pass that to you. And this is how much space we've actually got. No. Ah. Oh. Out of the elements. Let's have a look at these windows. Bring this down. This should be perfect. There you get your big, two big side windows, and then you've got your front window as well. And that attaches just like a conventional tent door, really. So 
so we've got the chairs in all nice and set up and i'll show you the outside of it now so for me first time putting it up that it wasn't too bad it was a bit of a faff it always is when you have a new new tent or in this case an awning um but it wasn't too bad we didn't really bother with the instructions on a serious note we didn't actually bother with them um we had two nice chaps who came over from uh from across the way there in their tent they've got a a blow up uh, tent full tent there and they just give us a give us a few pointers on on how to do things uh the wind got up so they they helped and and just uh put the uh the guy lines down for us while we were finishing off blowing it up but yeah it went up all right uh what do we think stitching wise this is where it runs into the um the existing side awning we've got the canopy on the van which was really easy to do so when it comes to driving off it wouldn't be an issue um this side here is obviously a bigger side because as leon pointed out the for long wheelbase is as well so um yeah so that might be a little bit of a faff when you're driving away you have to bring out that peg so that you don't run over it as you're driving off or reversing whatever which way you want to you want to do it but yeah i am super impressed with it i really like it Good stuff, you're doing all right. <laughs> Right, well we've just finished our part of beer, we're going to head back to the caravan park now. But we want to show you this amazing pub. It is probably the biggest one in the world, isn't it? It's massive, it's massive. It's, it's like a tarnish. It's literally it's huge. Tarnish. So we'll take you, we're actually at the back now where the, um, the canal is. 
and will take you back up to the top road. It's, it's massive. You're going to really enjoy this book. <laughs> Where are you going? new subscribers who didn't know I do a lot of bushcraft as well and I like to uh, implement this into when we go out in the camper van so here I'm showing Charlie well Charlie knows quite a little bit as he's been doing it with me for quite some time now but Isabel's not tried bushcraft before so we're gonna light the fire pit with a little bit of bushcraft help It ain't the best of weather. We've uh, we've kind of struggled with the fire. Well, it's not a fire. We're, we're literally using it to cook with, so it's a barbecue. But uh, we've really struggled with it to keep it keep it lit. So we're uh, we're managing, but we're getting there. We're getting some nice uh, cooked sausages now. We've got the burgers on the go. I've just put some corn on the cob on. So we're uh, we're, we're certainly going to be. Feasting. They don't look too happy. Are you happy? <laughs> the stuff, the stuff in the faces. Sausages are on the go. Oh, it's a miserable one. It really is uh, tipping it down. Well, the weather has cleared up. Finally. Oh my gosh. How are we? That one. Literally, absolutely battered it down. You can see it behind us, it's horrendous out there. So, yeah, finally it's cleared up. We're drying off a little bit and uh, just finishing up barbecuing. The kids are wet through, <laughs> the chairs are wet through, um, but we're all right. We're still having fun. I think we're having fun, aren't we? Are we having yeah. fun? Yeah. <laughs> are you having fun? 
Yeah. <laughs> I think Isabel's having fun. She's in there watching YouTube. Uh, so, um, yeah, but the worst has passed, hopefully. And then, like I say, once we finish with this barbecue, we can do what it wants. We don't go, do we? No. Because we're, we're going to hunker down in there and, and just relax and enjoy the evening. Good morning, and what a morning, beautiful, nothing like last night, <laughs> the absolute atrocious downpour for about two hours while cooking, but yeah, glorious morning today, and uh, we've just tidied up the van, got everything ready and packed away, and we're just literally sitting down enjoying the, uh, the awning, really. Um, we've opened up the front, as you can see there, because the mud um, in the side gate there is just atrocious and uh, yeah it's better to just open up the front so we can walk in on the clear ground really um, but yeah I cannot I cannot tell you how much I really really enjoy this this awning now it's so much space it gives you so much more room so yeah really chuffed with it so the plan is to do um, the campsite tour, we'll have a look round the campsite and also hopefully get some breakfast on and then start the horrible packing down stage. Right, we're pretty much packed up now. We've just got to get the awning down. But uh, I want to take you on the campsite tour. So we'll have a look what uh, Niffany Farm in the Yorkshire Dales has to offer. So let's go and have a look, eh? Just a short walk from the van leads you to the water access point and also washing up facilities. There's a nice combi boiler in there, one sink. It's nice and clean and tidy, just a little bit tight. A quick look at the bins, you've got general waste, you've got your recycling and also there's a dog litter bin which is great. Onto the first selection of toilets, now these are a new uh, new addition actually since the last time me and Charlie were at Niffery Farm and uh, it's a massive improvement because you don't have to walk as far to get to the toilets now. Uh, there's two of them and they've got a little combi boiler in each of them and one is bigger than the other one as you can see with this one but lots of room, loads of access there, and uh, yeah, brand new toilets, love it. So on to the clubhouse. So this is open through the summer months, and um, at the moment it is actually closed. You can go in there, so if you're in a tent and the weather is bad, you're entitled to uh, to come in here and, and use the facilities in here. Uh, you can cook in this little room, you can bring your gas stove. Uh, we've done that in the past and um, Jeanette didn't seem to mind that. Um, at the moment this table is here, so uh, there's normally envelopes on the top. And if you rock up to, to the farm and want to camp, 
and there's nobody around you can't get hold of anybody on the phone then there's a slip there for you to put the money in and just post it in the red post box at the farmhouse into the bar area itself you can see it's quite large they do have uh, acts on over the summer months you have barbecues and uh, bands on which is great and uh, yeah it's a lovely area big large area to just sit and relax so these were the original toilets and shower block areas for Niffany Farm and as you can see I'm walking down here into the first area the shower area and uh, yeah nice nice access into the and uh, yeah nice lovely clean showers 50p to use can't complain at that and then exactly the same on this side as well automatic lights as you walk in which is great and then you've even got some chickens and hens to keep you company chickens and hens <laughs> there's a cockerel round corner onto the toilets obviously I didn't go into the uh, the ladies toilet here um, I'll take you through to the men's um, this is a little bit tight where the uh, the blower is and you can hear it come on in a sec there you go there's the urinals and the toilet nice and clean and again a little bit tight but uh, it does the job and that is it that's the tour so what do you think answers in the comments below we think it is a fab site we came here just at the start of our uh, outdoor life really just before we started getting into wild camping and things like that and we came here me and Charlie just to get used to things and uh, yeah this was the first place that we actually came and yeah real soft spot for this place so if you uh, if you do fancy having a look all the details will be below in the description and uh, contact numbers to get hold of uh, Jeanette and Ian and uh, yeah please tell them if you do visit that uh, man and boy sent you and uh, she'll, <laughs> she'll know who you mean um, so yeah please come please come to this awesome site it's really really good as in cheap as well you know it's not just that it's 20 minutes walking to skipton and uh yeah for a caravan motorhome awning it's um 24 pounds and the tents two man tents 10 pound one man five pound can't beat it it's really good value for money so yeah please come and uh and yeah like i say say to uh, Jeanette or ian uh, man and boy sent you <laughs> Right, ah, well, we've come to the end of another video and uh, yeah, really enjoyed it. Really nice, relaxing bank holiday weekend away. And it just leaves me to say thank you so much to you guys for, uh, for watching the video. And if you've enjoyed it, if you possibly subscribe to the channel, there's going to be a lot more camper van videos and uh, the wild camping videos are going to be uh, in uh, abundance this uh this summer so yeah if you would subscribe that'd be fantastic if you'd like the video uh, but what really does help the channel out if you could possibly share this video to like-minded people that really does help us out so it just leaves me to say thank you so much to leon yep. and isabel isabel's in the car <laughs> hiding so nice one mate yeah, you no, enjoyed it's, it? yeah it's been a beautiful place it? yeah really good really good um, and an absolute it's, it's a gem and, and cheap as well like i say it's great oh well truly yeah yeah so nice pitch size it's looked after mm -hmm. so yeah cheers mate for coming no, no, sorry. and uh no, yeah pleasure. we'll get another one in sooner Definitely. yeah and thank you to charlie he's there yeah he's been absolutely awesome in flying the drone and uh all the other bits and bats that he's been doing and isabel she's just there i'm not too sure whether i want to bother her <laughs> she's hiding <laughs> so that's it so thank you so much and we'll see you next week